I've been playing in local bands for a long time. Things weren't really working out too well. It was kind of a lot of failure, you know, kind of do it, start again, something fall apart, start again. And I just thought, I'm gonna try something different here, you know, I, I always liked composition, I always liked music. Um, so I figured, well, what the heck, I'll just go to school and try to get a degree in music composition. About five years into the program, I had met up with the guys in Mushroom Head. Once I started working with them, kind of like as a ghostwriter and behind the scenes and doing things, it just kind of evolved. And then I ended up in the band. And then because of our crazy touring schedule and just long hours and long nights, I kind of had to withdraw from the program. And I had to make a choice. I just thought I could always come back to school. I don't know if I'm ever going to have this opportunity again to join a crazy cool band like this. We kind of planned all of 2020 and 2021. And I mean, tours, international tours, you know, big album releases, all these things. I mean, once the COVID hit, just shut everything down. You know, like most people, you know, I had a lot of time to think and I was just trying to find, I'm like, there has to be a silver lining in this. What, everything happens for a reason. Immediately I was like, oh my God, wait a minute, I could probably go back to school. Once I got in, it was like, oh yeah, it was, felt like I never left. <laughs> all totally worth it, you know, again, silver lining, man. With Mushroomhead and, and with what I do with my classical music, to me, there's really not much of a difference. It's, music is music, you know, and, and even in with heavy metal, you have avant-garde and, and more accessible pop stuff and varying levels of subgenre, all that. And the same thing in the classical world where there's just so much with 800 plus years of Western music, there really is something for everyone. And so when I write, for me, it's just all music. And, and I find that there's this cross-pollination that happens. With the mushroom head music, you, you find the classical music making its way into it, which makes for very interesting uh, popular type music, if you will. I also find that the mushroom head and the heavy stuff comes into the classical music to where, you know, when I'm thinking about like, oh, that'll be a good heavy thunderous moment, you know, I could kind of picture if we were doing this, it's a different orchestration with the band, you know, with heavy guitars instead of brass and strings, you know. You can go out in front of 60,000 people with a band and be fearless. You know that you have camaraderie, your guys are with you, things go wrong, there isn't like a singular issue. But in this world with composition, you're solely responsible for every beat and note that that audience is hearing. So if it's not resonating with them or if things aren't working, they could just go, that guy, he is responsible for this four minutes I'll never get back in my life, you know? I really do kind of care what people think. I, I, I wanna I wanna move people with music. I'm actually going to apply uh, for my PhD. There's a school in Scotland, um, at University of Edinburgh, and I'm gonna apply to them immediately. In, in the band, I, my name is Dr. F. It's been a nickname and it's actually been an honorary title bestowed upon me many, many moons ago, you know? Kind of like in my mind, like living up to the title. It's like finally like Dr. F, it's like, yeah, he's actually a doctor, you know? Not of medicine, but of music. At least I can he heal him some way, you know? I'll, I'll be kind of living this duplicitous life that I always have, you know? I'm a huge advocate for education. I, I mean, obviously with coming back to school and everything, but I, I kind of want my message to be to people that like, it's okay to listen to Slayer and Mozart, you know? It's all music. But you don't have to just be some dude with a guitar in a band. You, know, you can learn music. You could learn whatever you want, but I think it's important for everyone to kind of take it as far as they can. And education to me is just absolute key right now. And I want to be a, a strong advocate for that and hopefully a role model of people who think, oh man, it's never too late. Maybe I can go and get a degree in something I've always wanted to. Or maybe I'm doing this one thing, but you can do both. Whatever it is in life, you know, just, just do it to the fullest and just do it with passion. And just don't limit yourself ever. I'm Ryan Farrell, and I graduate this December with my master's degree in music composition. Cleveland State has been a life-changing experience for me. Imagine what it can do for you.